you're gonna do what? Now that is the question that usually gets asked when you tell people about the nuts and bolts rally. It is three nights, four days, a thousand k's on dust roads in a pre-1980 jalopy, which we have into the heartland of South Africa, all in the name of charity. The charity is Love Your Nuts in Aid of Testicular Cancer. Guys, remember to check it if you love them. So here we are, a thousand k's, epic journey, dust, dirt, full of challenges. So we figured we'd add one more challenge to the pot. We're going to be doing an engine stew in the old Land Rover strapped to the engine block. Something we learned from a friend of ours, Justin Benello. Thank you, Justin. It is rusty, it is dusty. We are at the Tankwa pot stall. It is like 40 degrees. And what do normal people do when it is this hot? We bra. Day two here on the Nuts and Bolts Rally. We're in the middle of nowhere on our way to some seriously steep mountain pass. We've got the Blue Beast behind us and our new friends in the Beetle. It's gonna make for an interesting day. We are in the middle of the Tankwakaru, the heartland of South Africa. And just it's, it's one of those places that tests you to your limit, and that's why we love it. We have the Tankwa tented camp. It's hot, it's dusty, and it's like Uncle Jack says. Baby, say for me. Can you put eyebrows in there? Kijk man, ons het eerst hier die dak in mekaar geval. Toe val ons die spensens met bieke. En nou die kar gevang. Ja, daar krijg om ons die touw. En nou die kar gevang. Want ons dink sy het warm geraak, want ons het geit werk nie meer nie. Hier op die pijp van die petroltank af. En nie, want ons het acht gehad en seker in die petroltank. Werk julle hoeter nou? Ja. Ja, hoeter werk. Laat ons net hoor hoe hy. Laat ons net hoor hoe hy. Maak slaat hom. Ek hoop, ek hoop hy werk. Oké. Nou, haar naam is Blondie, ons het geweet hoe ons haar vrou sy naam gee, gaan sy ons kak gee. Maar... Man, we zitten maar nog even slijten gemaakt. Yeah, this place is brutal. It's nuts. I swear they farm rocks out here. Cool. So we're about to hit the what is it? The Oswatberg Pass. The Oswatberg Pass. We are literally driving over the mountain. It's pretty hectic. This is where we're going. But the Beatles is carrying on behind us like it's a Sunday drive. Stuff, this is not a joke. This is what we do. We simulate the journey of cancer. And it's about, it's, it's about can I make it? You can't choose here. You have to go through the, the past to get to the top. You have to go through to trouble and you have to break down. And once you've made it and you can make it with one of these cars, it's about bragging rights. Uh, you get to the top and you say, I've actually done it. And that's what we promote. We want to promote beating cancer because cancer can be beaten. Day two in the crew and we promised you guys an engine stew. Uh, the key to any good engine stew is uh, assembly and preparation so get everything build it get it in the foil make sure it's safe tomorrow morning it goes on the engine but now cheers.
Cool, so it's day three here in the Nuts and Bolts Rally. It's the morning, really early. Our stew is ready to go. We prepped it last night. The CBC parallel is in there. Greg's been sorting out a bit of a housing so we can put it into the engine. But we actually found out this morning that in the driver's briefing, it's become a challenge now in the rally. It's called the Roadkill Challenge. And everyone's been given some tin foil and hats. The goal is they've got to get something and cook it. So <laughs> I think it's going to be an interesting day. I don't know how successful it's going to be, but hey, we'll see. It's not often when you're driving around dust roads in the middle of the Karoo and you find this. of the other guys and girls got involved with what is now being called the roadkill challenge cooking stuff on a manifold some interesting stuff that happened and our stew has been on for eight and a half hours it's time to light a fire crack a beer Check it out. cool so we've just unwrapped the engine stew it is delicious i wouldn't say it's the best stew i've ever made but it is bloody good for being cooked on an engine And now we're standing in the Matrosberg where it is zero degrees, possibly snowing later, cold. To say that this journey has been epic is an understatement, a big one. Nuts and Bolts family, we and Thirsty will see you again next year, 100%. Sure. The guys from Love Your Nuts, Torsten, Testicular Cancer Awareness, the foundation that this whole thing is for. Thank you so much for the good work. So the oaks out there, easily detectable form of cancer. If you catch it early, you can kick it in the chops. So yeah, from us, check them before you wreck them. <laughs> also big thanks to TJ Lekebra. Uh, we had a lot of good firewood going on this trip, which was needed. Big thanks to Roverland for keeping thirsty on the road. She actually made it without a single hiccup, which is incredible. And of course, a very big thanks to CBC for supplying us with delicious beer, we made some converts in there, the guys are loving it. And speaking of beer. Yeah, we should go and make some more converts in there. <laughs> it's done, that's it, wrapped. That's in Bowls 2016. Cheers. Boom. Let's go. So but Tommy, how was the nuts and bolts ready? Well my friend, it was fantastic.